someone starts doing something, that usually gains momentum because other people go, look, they're doing something, we should join. So a few other people straggled in and joined the group. So then we had a small group praying. Meanwhile, they're still discussing the appropriate manner in which we should pray about whether or not we should have camp meeting or not. And there's a small group, not be terribly loud, trying to be respectful as much as college students can, which is a varying degree thing, praying. And the president saw this, saw the group praying in the back. And he called them out and told them to stop praying. Oh, man. Because they were disrupting the meeting where we were deciding how we should pray. Oh, stupid. <laughs> I'm not making this up because you can't make this kind of stuff up. No one would believe, you don't believe me anyway, but I'm not even exaggerating. He stopped the meeting, called, us, called out the group in the back, and said, Stop praying uh, because you're disrupting our meeting about prayer and discussing the proper way in which to pray. Completely, perhaps, missing the point of what was going on. Missing the point just a little bit. Uh, I think that, that, that a lot of times it's very easy to miss the point. And that story, at least from my perspective, it's pretty easy to see. <laughs> perhaps they were off. But it's really easy to, to miss the point. I, I think the disciples and, and the people around Jesus miss the point a lot. If you have your Bibles, you turn to the book of Luke, chapter 5. Jesus is in a town called Capernaum. This is where several of his disciples called home. Peter, James, and John, they fish right outside the Sea of Capernaum. Sea of Capernaum, or the, the Sea of Galilee, sorry, town of Capernaum. Town of Capernaum was an interesting town. It was very poor, uh, but it was at a crossroads of um, commerce lines, trade routes. Uh, but it was all moving through, so none of the money really stayed in the town. And it was poor enough, apparently, that um, a, a Gentile actually built the synagogue for, for the Jews, because they were that poor. Okay. So it, it, it's a pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of like Brawling's Wyoming. <laughs> okay, if you've been to Rollins, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's on a trade route, but nobody wants to stay. You just keep moving. You yeah. stop, maybe get gas, and keep moving. We had a, our U-Haul when we moved out here broke down in Rollins, Wyoming. <laughs> End up staying there for a day. There's nothing to do. I mean, the highlight really for the children was going to McDonald's on the plate equipment. That's, that was like the tourist attraction. Like, we went to McDonald's and rode the slide. You know, that... <laughs> That's Capernaum, okay? You want to keep the mental picture here. There's nothing there. You drive through town going, this place, there's nothing here. I'm not supposed to Wyoming, but if you're from Wyoming, I apologize. <laughs> the disciples have been with Jesus on and off. It appears reading the scriptures that Jesus called them, and they were kind of with Jesus on a part-time basis. I mean, Peter, James, and John, so they early disciples. They were kind of on a part-time basis. They go to Jesus, they go back to fishing, then they go back and hang out with Jesus a little more. And they're still in kind of that phase. And they're with Jesus, they're heading out of town, they're, they're used to it, this is their kind of thing. And, and as, they're, as they're walking out of town, they walk up to the toll booth. Because, you know, it's a train route, you better get your taxes on the way 